I absolutely love a good sandwich. And a panozzo, an Italian sandwich made with pizza dough, is no exception. It can be filled with a variety of toppings, and I'm going to show you how to make my version. Welcome to the channel, everyone. And as usual, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. Now, to make our pizza dough, we're going to be using a method called the Autolise method, which is all of our flour and about 98% of our water. Give this a quick mix until everything is well incorporated. And as you can see here, our dough isn't very stretchy and it rips. Now, after 30 minutes of rest, you can see how elastic it has become. And that is because we let our flour fully hydrate. I'm opening up the dough to get it ready for the next step, which is dissolving our yeast in the remaining water and adding it to the dough. Now we're gonna sit back and relax and let the machine do all the work. The dough is gonna become very slippery and slick, but do not add any flour. Just let the machine run on low speed until everything gets incorporated. And just like that, the dough ball comes back together. Now open up the dough again and add your salt. If you're using coarse sea salt, you definitely need to grind it down with the mortar and pestle or give it a quick blitz in a spice grinder. Now I wet my hands a little bit to press the salt into the dough. It'll help it dissolve a little bit. And again, let the machine do all the work. I let this run for about four to five minutes until I saw no chunks of salt. I find that adding oil a little bit at a time will help it incorporate a lot easier into the pizza dough. And again, let the machine do all the work. Adding the rest of the oil and let this go for about four to five minutes until the dough does not look glossy and oily. I like to check the temperature of my dough once it's done mixing because I wanna make sure that it's not too hot where it's gonna kill the yeast. Giving this a final buzz for about 10 seconds in the mixer. Now it's time to remove the dough from the bowl. And I like to give this a little slap and fold method just to make it smooth. This part isn't necessary. I'm just being OCD. If you want even dough balls, measure the whole thing and divide this by three. This is gonna let me be able to either make 14 inch pizzas or a really nice size panozzo. Once the dough is all portioned out, now it's time to ball them up. Do not add flour. Let the workbench create surface tension so you get a nice tight skin. I'm going to place these dough balls into a lightly greased container and into the refrigerator for at least 24 hours. That's where the magic happens. The gluten will fully develop and the dough will create a really nice flavor. Now toppings, I'm using mortadella. I have some pecorino, arugula pistachios, burrata, some white balsamic glaze, olive oil, but feel free to make this sandwich with any ingredients that you want. Before making your sandwich, you should definitely preheat your oven. Mine's at 550 degrees Fahrenheit with a cast iron pizza pan inside. I'm forming this into a round shape. I've seen panozzos being stretched out into a nice rectangular shape. Either way, it's going to be delicious. Now stretch out your dough any way that you feel comfortable with. If you stretch out your panoto to a long rectangular shape, then you do not need to put olive oil on the inside like I'm doing right now. This is only to help a circular shape one not stick to each other so you can open it. If you're making a rectangular shape panoto, then you only need to put olive oil on the top. Our oven and our cooking surface is nice and hot. It's time to launch our dough. Let this sit on that plate for about a minute before you turn on the broiler. Once the broiler is turned on, you need to watch it. It's gonna cook really quickly. If you want it darker, then let it sit for a little bit longer. I think this is the perfect color. It took about two to three minutes. As you can see, it's piping hot. And when you open it on the inside, it looks so beautiful and it is ready for all your toppings. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of pecorino and fresh cracked black pepper while it's still hot. It's gonna perfume your whole kitchen. Let's add another layer of excitement and be very generous with the mortadella. I'm gonna add in some burrata. You can go with as little or as much as you want. Add a little bit more pistachio for some nice crunch. Dress some arugula with some olive oil. That way we can tell our moms that we've had our greens for the day. Also, the arugula will give a nice peppery bite to this beautiful panozzo. A little drizzle of white balsamic reduction is gonna help cut through the richness of this panozzo. 
Let's put some finishing touches on here by hitting it with a little bit more pecorino and a little bit more pistachio. And just like that, our pinozzo is done. And just like that, guys, look at this beautiful sandwich. I guess I stacked, I stacked them better looking on that side than on this side, but either way, it's a beautiful sandwich. Look at this awesome crispy crust. I've been waiting for this for two days. Now it's time to take a bite. Look at that. Mmm. You have this delicious pizza dough. Mortadella is, it's amazing. The peppery bite from the arugula, the creaminess of the burrata, and the little pistachio crunches, all ties together with the olive oil the pecorino, and that white balsamic. And look at this crust right here. Nice and just flaky and crispy. Now give this recipe a try, you won't be disappointed. Now you don't have to use just mortadella and the ingredients that I use. If you like prosciutto, if you like whatever you want, you gotta say, Thank you, Italy. Thank you, Italians, for making this and bringing this into the world. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Get off your butts, cook something. Take care of yourselves. And always, peace.